So Charlie, you've put pen to paper on a new two-year deal. How are you feeling? I'm absolutely wrapped, Carl. I think um, I can see the future and the history um, here at this club and I'm really excited to continue the work that we've been doing so far this pre-season and, and throughout the year. So I'm really looking forward to um, thinking another two years uh, North Melbourne. And it probably has been a little bit of a challenging season on field, but how important is it to keep that core group together moving forward to build to success? Yeah, I think it's massive. I think we've got a really strong core group of, of first years that have come through and then obviously adding on the, the second year players as well and then obviously the likes of Ben Cunnington, Jai Simkin, Jack Siebel, some of the more experienced heads and players here. So I think it's really important to, to build a young group and, and mix them in with the guys that are more seasoned throughout their AFL careers. So it's really important to kind of keep us all together and, and gel all together and it's really exciting. And you mentioned the first years, because you seem really close, how important is it to have that unified group moving forward? Yeah, massive again. I think we're a group within a group, That's the first year players. I think we do heaps together, we spend a lot of time together, we're always bouncing ideas off each other and I think it's something that is really special to be able to come in with the group that you've been drafted by and, and obviously try and retain as many of those players as you can. And I think it, it's just really important to kind of have a good balance of being able to enjoy each other's company and, and then work hard as well on the track and, and keep, keep ticking off goals together. And adding to that group now is your old teammate, Charlie Ham from Geelong Falcons. How exciting is it to have him around the club? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I was absolutely wrapped. The rookie draft I was watching um, on my phone and, and to see his name called out, I think I called him about five minutes after. It's, so, it's such a surreal feeling knowing that I played a lot of junior footy against him and then with him, um, with the Geelong Falcons and having him run out now at Arden Street together, um, it's really special. And turning to yourself now, we've seen you play nine games so far this season. What have been the key areas of development or focus for you to get better in the future? Yeah, I think I've definitely learned a lot about myself as a footballer um, and a person as well throughout my nine games so far at North Melbourne. I think some of the key areas are probably just that top-up endurance. Um, some of the players, like you, you think you come in off a pre-season that are really, and you think you're really fit, but you come up against some of the likes of Brandon Ellis and some of those guys that are they're really seasoned and well-conditioned. So they really know how to work the ground and work you really hard. So I think for me, it's just about topping up that endurance, continuing the basic fundamentals of my skills and being able to kind of execute really well on game day. And we've also had another couple of big signings this week in Betty Mackay and Will Phillips. So how important is it to keep that group together and how excited are you for those guys? Yeah, that's, um, that's incredible. Um, it just goes to show the work North's doing behind the scenes and it goes to show kind of the, the culture we're building here and it's really exciting. I think there's definitely big plans and a big future ahead and we've had a lot of discussions about moving forward with Nobes and it's definitely something that the fans should be really excited about and should be looking forward to in the future. Well, beautiful. Congratulations again, Charlie. Thanks, Carla. Cheers.